Hello Virgo and welcome to Synchronicity Central. My name is Mary Moon. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope everyone, oh, you're calling in your soulmate, Virgo, right out the gate. The cards are starting to jump for you. Um, I want to thank you so much. My last string of readings, Virgo, um, you guys had uh, the biggest impact. So thank you, Virgo. So this week I'm starting with Virgo and the earth signs because of that. And we're going to do an in-depth, a little more in-depth love reading for Virgo just to see where the Virgo who landed here on this reading is um, right now in their love life. And we're going to just start pulling some cards and see what we get, okay? Look at this, honeymoon, Virgo, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I feel like this is telling me that a lot of Virgos are um, either going to be looking at getting engaged. They just got engaged and they're going to be planning their wedding or they're waiting to get engaged. Um, some of you Virgos who are single um, are going to be either reconnecting with someone or meeting someone new and enjoying just like a little weekend getaway or even a one day getaway, a little road trip, something. Um, because look, there's chemistry coming in for Virgo in their love life right now. So we have honeymoon and chemistry coming in for Virgo. Um, let's take a look. I just see, feel like this is for Virgo too, right? The next one at the bottom of the deck, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So Virgo, some of you have already met the person that you're hoping to the, the, the person that you were hoping is your person or would be your person. Um, a lot of you Virgos are led here to let you know that they are and very well you could be. They very well could be or definitely are the person for you. Um, let's take a look here. I'm going to pull this brace off of my arm. I just forgot I was wearing that. It doesn't look good. <laughs> um, okay. I'm not sure if it showed up or not. but All right. So let's see. Yeah. Look, oh my God. I mean, you cannot make it up. Virgo, we have chemistry, we have honeymoon engagement, and this could be the one. Some of you Virgos out there may have just met someone new. Um, you, um, or have reconnected with somebody, or you are about to reconnect with somebody from the past that you knew was your person all along, that you wanted to be the one that was going to be there with you always. And it's like, they are coming back around. Um, we have all of this chemistry coming in. So we're going to see what else shows up here for, for Virgo. I just feel like these exciting times coming in for, um, the sign of Virgo right now, as if like there's been some struggle for a lot of you. And, um, now it's like the universe is saying now's the time for the honeymoon. Here's your honeymoon. Here's what you should have had all along. Here's what you wanted. Here's what you wished for the chemistry, the romance, all of that. Um, so here we have, Oh my God, Virgo. I'm like so excited. Like yesterday when I'm filming this, this reading is timeless. So whenever you see it, it's good. But when we're filming this yesterday was Valentine's Day. Um, so it's like, that makes, it makes sense. I just feel this love energy kind of lingering around for Virgo and for anyone who thought that they, you know, were feeling lonely, um, on Valentine's day, um, you don't have to worry because that's going to be coming to an end. If you were led here, it's going to be coming to an end. You were led here for a reason, right? Synchronicity central, right? You were led here for a synchronicity on purpose by the universe for a message. We have soulmates and look at these little penguins. They're so cute, surrounded in little red hearts with a 41. 41, like just anymore has been very significant to me around love, love energies. Like um, I noticed it around like um, my husband and I, like uh, and when we were separated and I was seeing 41, it was like we were getting ready to get back together soon. Um, and ever since I've seen it. And then um, thinker card 44. So it's like your, your soulmate is either here already Virgo, or they're very, very close to being here or returning. One of those three scenarios should fit person led here, the Virgo led here. And you're doing a lot of thinking, you know, you're, you've been spending a lot of time in your mind. You've been thinking about this person and they've been thinking about you and your thoughts are manifesting. 44 is a number of stability. Okay. It's a very grounding number. I always feel it's like an angelic number too. Um, let's take a look here at a timeline. I got this cool divine timing deck Virgo. So let's see here. When, when is the Virgo going to be looking at things really getting serious? When is the Virgo watching going to be looking at things really settling in in their love life? 
kicking up, heating up. Tell us when, please. Oh, Virgo. Next full moon and in divine timing at the bottom of the deck. So some of you around the next full moon, it's going to be big en energy for things kicking up in your love life. The person you're hoping to reconcile with, the person you're hoping to meet, or, or, or even just kind of figuring things out. If you're in a mode of, I just want to be single for a while, divine timing is saying, don't worry about it. But the next full moon, work on work on manifesting, work on thinking about what you want for your future, because everything is coming to you in good divine timing, all of these good things, this soulmate, this person that is the one for Virgo. I'm so excited for this reading for you guys. It's so good. It's so good. Um, okay, I'm going to get you a couple of, we did heart to heart work last time, but let's do it again for the Virgo watching. What are things looking like for their love life? We already see a bunch of excitement. I mean, the energy is just tremendous. I'm so excited for the Virgo watching. Oh my gosh. That is why it's so cool how things just come flying out, Virgo. Look, or cross watcher, you're welcome here too, right? If you're with a Virgo and you want to see what's going on. Because you guys are getting ready to be really happy. Um, happy couple made for each other thing things get better getting along great I mean look it's so exciting like I mean I just feel so good I feel like the Virgos out there you deserve this you absolutely deserve this you have probably been through the ringer and I think we did we not get this last time because we got biggest fan I think for Virgo last time sucker for you Virgo someone has a crush on you you might have your walls up. You might not want this. You might suspect the chemistry, but you are trying to live in denial and resist that this could even be the one. But this person is a sucker for you and they have a crush on you. Um, the universe and spirit are here telling you, let yourself be loved. You're in control, Virgo, right? If you don't like it, if there's a red flag, if something makes you uncomfortable, you can, you can take a detour. You can have a talk. You can cut it off. But right now, there is somebody, Virgo, who's coming into your energy field who absolutely is going to adore you and probably already does and you don't even know it. Just a sucker for you, Virgo. Oh, my God. And this person is feeling really blue and out of sync without you. They're longing for you. Um, they're lonely and they're just trying to come right in and be with their Virgo. This is what they want. So let's see here. Let's get some... Um, regular tarot and find out what else we have going on for Virgo. I mean, honestly, I, I almost want to leave it there because it's just so gorgeous. But um, let's see. Virgo, you've already told us a lot, Spirit, for these beautiful Virgos who deserve the tremendous love that's coming in for them. What else can you tell us about their love life? Oh my gosh. Virgo. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, equal reciprocity, equal give and take, um, things being way more fair than you've been used to in the past. And I just feel like some Virgos are going to be like, there's somebody that you've been with that you're going to kind of like reconcile with some of you. And they weren't always the one to show much love. It felt like you always had to do that. You had to be the one. And now you're going to be like, finally, I get to feel that. The universe is asking you to trust, trust in this happy couple. I mean, look at these pairs of happy couples, bunnies and penguins. Maybe those are synchronicities to someone. Maybe a lollipop is synchronistic to someone. Okay, Virgo. Nine of cups. You've been thinking, you've been manifesting, you've been working on things inside yourself and hoping for things and putting desires out there. And I'm going to tell you what, Virgo, it is you need to trust that this path has led to everything that you have wanted. Um, and it's like, I, I just kind of feel like, you know, um, I just want to leave that reading right here for you, Virgo, because look what you have coming in. You've been manifesting. I stopped shuffling right on the magician. This says it all. Virgo has been manifesting a love that is more fair, that adores them, that only has eyes for them, that wants to be with them forever. 
there's chemistry and the bliss that is to follow, things are going to start kicking up by uh, for a lot of Virgos by next full moon. I feel like some, a few Virgos are going to maybe find out that they're expecting around the next full moon and are going to celebrate that with like a little trip. And that's just like some uh, little bonus that came in for just some. But there, for, for every Virgo that has led to this reading, you are just, you have amazing, amazing things coming in your love life. So I hope this reading has helped you, Virgo. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for being here. And if you want more information on how to have a reading that's personalized for yourself, just check the description box um, where you can order a reading um, or contact me um, for anything else. I'm sending you lots of love, Virgo. Take care.